Hi, what's up? Sunzi here. Hope you're having a good day. And welcome to the Sunzi Coralie YouTube channel. This is going to be the first keyboard video of the channel. And today we'll be modifying a keyboard. The keyboard that we'll be modifying is the GK61. I don't actually own this keyboard. Um, it's from a friend. And I've known the GK61 for a long time. I saw some videos about it. And I knew it was hot swap from a lot of advertisements and stuff. So I told him that, hey, um, it would it be okay if I like modified your keyboard a little? And he said, sure. So here we are. Now let's do a quick sound test. So, I'm sure you noticed that this keyboard is a little bit clickety-clack. Um, you know, those stock stabilizers definitely need some work. The switches themselves are, the typing is okay, but the metallic ping noise from the springs are very obvious. So, we're going to have to modify those as well. Let's get into it. So, as you can see, we've taken the keyboard apart. Um, let's. We're going to check out the... Uh, keycaps and the switches the keycaps are double shot abs um they're pretty bad <laughs> let's be honest they're pretty bad i don't know why but they have like uh they have a rough surface which isn't that bad but it catches oil um a lot and the sides are glossy like they're they're slippery and glossy and, and the sides catch even oil like even like it's, it's even worse for the sides so these keycaps definitely need to re be replaced. They're, yeah, they're honestly pretty bad. I, I was going to sugarcoat them because I didn't want to hate on them too much. But yeah, you're definitely going to need to replace these keycaps if you do get this keyboard. All right, so enough of that. Let's check out the switches now. As for the switches, um, these are actually quite good. These are the optical Gatoron optical brown switches. And one thing I would like to mention is that this keyboard, even though it's hot swap, which is a bonus, but the sockets, as you can see, are limited to optical switches, which means you can only get, you know, optical switches, which isn't bad because optical switches are actually pretty good. But that means you're not going to get NK creams, get our own black inks, Durox, you know, banana splits, tangerines, nothing like those. So yeah, a little bit of a bummer, but it's, it's not bad. Um, for the price, I think it's really decent. Welcome back. Um, I think we were very successful in the modification process. I have filmed and lubed all the key switches. These are now lubed with uh, Crytox 105 grade zeros. And we also replaced all the stabilizers with Cherry MX Profile stabilizers from Zeal PC. All right, now let's magically apply the keycaps on top of it. All right, so now the keycaps are on. These keycaps are the GMK Red Samurai keycaps. If you've noticed, um, I'm missing some keys. Like some of the keys just aren't fitting. This is because I purchased the 65% version of this keycaps from Drop. So I had to replace three of the keys with um, a cooler master keyboard I had um, in the past. Hope my friend doesn't mind because I think it still looks pretty good. All right, now let's do a quick sound test for comparison. Let's see if the modification went, you know, as well as we thought.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen up. But is your keyboard spacebar this deep, though? I don't think so. And now all we have to do is just, you know, put this keyboard back into its case, wrap the video up, and that would be the conclusion of our first keyboard video of the Sunzi Coralie YouTube channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. And from now on, I'll try to post one keyboard video every week. So be, look, be sure to look forward to that. All right. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys next time.